Sup Shooters, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to an SP Reviews where today I'll be checking out a track from an axe named Lady Afia titled Born to Us and if we switch over to here we're gonna listen through this track from start to finish and we're gonna hear what we think. Let's go, let's do this, what have we got? What have we got to listen through today? Oh, Lady Afia Born to Us, I think this is a Christmas song, at least judging from the snowflakes and stuff like that. That's an interesting synth lead we've got amongst the piano. Have we got... We've got some piano and drums in there as well, obviously. Born to us, the king of earth and sky. Oh, nice presence to those vocals. Born to us, the son of David, born to rule and reign. Let us sing. Nice transition there. It's nice to come in earlier than the next bar just to help transition over to the next section. Uh, That's a beautiful sort of sentiment. I'm liking the variation of the vocal melodies as well. Nice little bit of vibrato there as well. It sounds really, um, Really neat on top of the major and minor triads that we have in the background there. Not a huge, not a huge amount of complication to the overall harmony in terms of the uh, progressions and all that, but that's totally fine. Love, to you My sixteenth groove on those drums, though, with those kicks and the hi hats. I liked how we sunk there, the rain. I like how we sunk there. This is uh, one of the attempts at like an original Christmas song that I don't actually mind at all. It does not cheesy or anything like that. It has a certain kind of freshness to it. Um, it's great. It's very topical. Oh, right. I think this is uh, Lady Afia's husband, uh, Rico, who is singing this part, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, he's uh, he's got some great pipes on him as well. That's dope, man. Fantastic uh, technique there. I've just realized the fa la 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 pa. Yeah, that's definitely a Christmassy thing. I mean, obviously, if it's not clear by the Christmas tree with with the presents. No, I think I, I like the personality of the track, the coloration with some of those synthy kind of woodwind kind of parts there as well. Oh, and there's background vocals as well that I'm only noticing now. And that bass tone, again, with that transition as a call and response to the vocal parts in that gap was a smooth move. You don't usually have the bass following through with that, but I like that melod melodic tail down in that, in that area. Oh, really? Did we have some sort of ethnic string parts occurring on the right side there? That was, a, that was, that was actually kind of dope, actually. It was a nice new texture. Okay, we're, we're, we're going back to this sort of refrain, this motif here. Born to us, the son of David, born to rule and reign. Let us sing on earth a song of praise. Singing love has come to earth. Was that like a sort of a sort of an oboe or like a clarinet or something like that for a moment? 
The song's done? Man, that song was short. It felt really short. Wow, I'm actually really happy with that. Because this is my, the conclusion of my review of this track, uh, Lady Afi is Born to Us. I'm, I'm typically picky with my Christmas songs. You know, what do I think this track was about? I think it was about the birth of Jesus Christ at, in Bethlehem at, at Christmas time, you know? I think it's a really simple, sort of fairly easy to understand concept that a lot of people sort of vibe behind, you know? It's, it's a foundation of a lot of other Christmas carols, but I like the, 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 the spin that Lady Afia put on it, along with Rico in the secondary verse. The vocals in this track were neat and well considered. I don't have any specific complaints about anything that I heard here. I enjoyed the clarity of the vocals in the mix. I think Think that we had some some solid technique from Lady Afia and Rico as well with some of those little ornamental runs that we had, especially in that like that second line of the verse. They harmonize well with each other when they were interacting, and, and uh, you can typically assume there's going to be a fairly solid chemistry between husband and wife, but that that came across in the music as well. I also like the kind of sub layers of the vocal backing vocals in the chorus there and in the hook sections. I think that was a smart move there to kind of really sort of fill it up and make it sound nice and warm, nice contrast the spoken part especially as also the fa la 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 parts in between the takes of the chorus i think that was a it obviously was a christmas thing as well and uh there was a sense of purity from the performance overall a sweetness a softness a love and caring tender sort of tone that uh resonated amongst mo the vocals throughout the track and i think it matched well uh emotionally with the story so that was great you know the vocals are solid the theme behind it is nice and fluffy and warm and caring as well as the vocals you know you had lots of major and minor triads there that kept it harmonically fairly simple there were little additional layers stuck in there like those bass transitions and the hook as well as the, the kind of the pluck strings that we had a little bit later on and there were little bits with the drums where they sort of like acted up a little bit more and had a little bit more sort of oomph to them but like ultimately I think we had a situation here where there was a fairly minimalist arrangement behind it at three minutes, just over three minutes. I think that it was as long as it needed to be to tell the story. I didn't even necessarily mind that we went back to sort of the main sort of hook or sort of theme line there for that last part before the outro chorus there. I, I don't think having a solo section from an additional instrument would have necessarily benefited the track. So I think that, you know, again, if it's vocal lit and vocal oriented like a pop track like this, I think it's great. Christmas time is all about the stories as well anyway. So I think there's going to be an audience for this who appreciate that it's mainly vocal, vocal. The focal point is the vocals. <laughs> and I, I think there was enough change with the rhythm and also the little sort of sparkles of a different additional elements in there to, to really make it worthwhile. Uh, I'm very happy listening to this track from Lady Afia. Um, it's a really great first impression to their work. Um, I've got no complaints really about the arrangement. It's it's a safe sort of fairly sort of conservative arrangement. There wasn't a lot of edgy stuff, but I don't think that would have necessarily suited a Christmas Carol. And unless you really go for it, you know what I mean. If you're gonna do something kind of funky and wild for Christmas, make it edgy, make it intense. But uh, we didn't have that here, and that's totally fine. A uh, very appropriate sort of in in regards to the overall mood and vibe of it. The production, recording, mixing, and mastering was fantastic. I enjoyed the, the overall tone of it. I think that YouTube has done some weird audio compression to it because it sounded like there was some filter audio sort of filtering issues with like the bit rate or something like that. I don't think that's indicative of the final product because I could hear that the vocals were recorded well. I could hear that the instruments were recorded well. So I assume it's YouTube being a bit of a dick, excuse the language, uh, being being a bit rude you know, with the way that it's processing the audio on this track. I, I don't think it's a detriment. It's just something I can hear because I'm kind of pedantic about the audio quality and stuff. Not necessarily to the point of being a, an audiophile or anything, but you, you can hear it when you hear it. And um, I, I still think it sounded great. You know, the, again, the vocal recordings were nice, nice and clear and filtered and EQ'd and a little bit of reverb there, but not too much. The other instruments like the bass and the drums and the piano parts and the pluck strings and synths and all that, they sounded nice and sort of clear and and they were cognizant of each other in the mix and there was clear understanding of how to place them in the frequency spectrum and also in the stereo field there. I liked how we had occasional bits on the left or right side of the stereo field there, like in like the bait, like the pluck strings or whatever, just to sort of add interest there. And they did move between the, the two sides of the, the field there, which was great but never enough to distract or be a detriment to the actual storytelling or anything like that so that's cool honestly like if, if we're completely like totally legit here i i really have very few complaints about this track it's nice and loud without pumping i don't really know how they could have improved this from a production perspective the leveling is great and um uh, i don't know how much of this is sampled versus how much of it is like recorded from like instrumental takes or vocal i mean obviously the vocals were recorded but 
I, I, I still like let's be real here this is a solid Christmas Carol and I wish Lady Afia as well as Rico the best of luck in future because they did a great job because this is this is effectively my review of this track born to us from Lady Afia uh hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please do go show this uh musician some love via their various social medias and a YouTube page and stay cool and stay safe and please remember to support your local musicians at this point in time as they need to help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on have a very Merry Christmas as this is a Christmas Carol I feel as if that's thoroughly appropriate and I'll catch you in the next review spider hands up